I live and breathe Pinky Mafia. I need space. <laughs> <laughs> I was a loner in high school because I always felt like everybody had their little cliques and I never felt like I belonged to anything. I grew up in a very traditional home and my parents were very old school, traditional Mexican parents. I had a child and I had to step into my mommy shoes and then the mommy shoes involved into the housewife shoes. And so being a housewife and married to somebody that was also very traditional, it's like you cannot be a wife and a mom and look the way you think you want to look. It was just not even allowed for me. Throughout the marriage, which was 12 years, I was living a life that I always felt wasn't mine. I remember waking up one day and I just thought, there has to be more to life than this. And so when I was finally able to be the person I always wanted to be, you know, which was in my early 30s, I just went crazy. When I was a toddler, I would go. I, I would go to the gumball machine and I would buy the candy that gives you the little stick-on tattoos. And I thought that was so cool. I used to get mad that they used to wash off Cracker Jacks, especially especially Cracker Jacks, give you free tattoos. I thought it was so cool. But I would get mad because they would come off. So I said, when when I grow up. I want to have tattoos so they don't ever come off. And hence, we're here at the shop and I'm getting my tattoos. My Cracker Jack tattoos, because you know what? If you think about it, Cracker Jack tattoos had traditional tattoos. Sailor Jerry type tattoos, right? You're getting tattooed by a Cracker Jack. And, he's, and his name's Jack. <laughs> It means so much to me that I see myself at this point, I am like a walking billboard, you know, and why not promote my company? I just went to the nearest swap meet, got me a tank top. I went to a, it wasn't even silk screen, it was like an iron-on type material. And then I took a picture of my car, and you know, at the time I had a couple tattoos on my arm, and I just did one of those candid pictures you know, and I posted it. I was just looking for a cool default picture. Um, people were asking me where can they purchase those beaters. And I just thought, like, are these people crazy? <laughs> like, this stuff looks kind of funny. Um, girls started approaching me, asking me how they could become a PMM girl. I was like, PMM girl? What are you talking? What is that? <laughs> like, it's just a clothing company. I had no idea where the direction it was about to take. All right, first I'd like to start off by saying happy birthday to one of my close friends, LV. Happy birthday, Mama. <laughs> Let's put on our hoedown shoes for some straight shooter. like cookie cutter girls like we don't fit that mold and femininity well depends how you look at it everybody has their own definition to what that means most likely you won't find us in the cover of Vogue um, and that's okay because you will find us in the cover of Urban Ink, Rebel Ink magazine all these tattoo magazines that do support women that look a certain way just a really, really nice thing to be a part of, you know. It empowers like us Hispanic women, and it brings like a, more of a like this is what tattered women are. This is what you know not your everyday Mexican woman is or Hispanic women. Just because we're tattooed doesn't mean that we're low lives, and doesn't mean that you know we fall into the typical stereotypical, you know, uh, gangster girl. You know, we might look the part, but we're all sweethearts. 
Well, when people look at me right away, like I said, they, they think I'm either drug addict, um, I'm, an, I'm a gangbanger, you know, I'm an alcoholic, and yeah, unstable, I, I don't, um, I, I'm pretty much a low life is, is what it comes down to. And then when I start talking to them and I let them know, like, I've been to college, I have a degree, I'm a nurse, been a nurse for 15 years. Um, my son, my son's disabled, I take care of him fully. Um, then it kind of changes their attitude and then they're like, okay, it goes from the stereotype to, well, how do you work with all that? To me, it represents a strong, beautiful woman. It's bottom line, that's it. And I was always in the rockabilly culture, car shows, all that stuff, and all the models were gorgeous, but none of them looked like me. You got like your Sabina Kellys and your Dee Deluxes, you know, blonde hair, blue eyes, fair skin. I mean, obviously I'm dark, dark eyes, big boobs, you know, didn't really, you know, fit the mold. That we're not a gang, I get that a lot on Facebook. If we're, you know, they want to join our gang or our crew or, and I'm just like, no, we're not, you know, we support a lot of different causes and we're not a gang. Like, I get that a lot. I decided to create clothing that will represent, you know, where we come from, you know, la raza. I understand people are not going to get it. And if you think the clothing is boring, then that's your opinion. And you know what? If you knew what PMM was about, you would know that it's more, it's beyond a clothing company. I see it more like a movement at this point. I just think since she's my mom, I was there when she started it. I just think she's really original and she really, she just wants to represent what she believes in. I just, I just got to have a mom like that, like so awesome. She most of the time buys me stuff, gets me what I want, it helps me with my homework, makes sure that I'm right on schedule and yeah, just so they know she cares about me. PMM should be a common place where everybody could get together and have mutual things in common. You know, ink, tattoos may be one of them, the lifestyle may be another. Everybody is doing different things to fight for a certain cause. I tell them, use PMM as a platform. You know, it's popular and use that popularity. Pretty cool, huh? That looks really good. I love Sweet. it. Everybody is into so their own out. different uh, thing. Sure. And I think the word Rockachola just puts everything together. Everybody's entitled to their opinion, and I'm entitled to mine, and I'll make anybody stand corrected if they don't know what PMM means, and I'll take that extra time to educate them. there's no paper place, so... Get ready to go on Mexican salad, napkins! Fuck napkins, put your pounds up. Okay. You know, what can you do? You can't please everybody, right?